Right now we're filming with the Sony 28 to 135 f4 lens and it's really unique for a Sony lens because it's a cinema lens. It has a power zoom feature that allows you to get these nice smooth pulls like you're seeing right now. That's something that hasn't really existed in DSLR style video. We've had to either clumsily zoom or zoom in post or hook up some complex zooming, focusing, pulling ring thing. So it's a really nice feature to have because if you wanted it in another kind of lens, you'd either get a camcorder or you'd spend like 40K on a full cinema zoom. So for two grand, pretty cheap. It also has a huge focusing ring so you can focus smoothly and precisely. It's kind of a big deal to filmmakers who want to be able to change the point in the scene that the viewer is watching by changing the focus. And on a DSLR, you have to hook up a complex focus pulling mechanism that will cost more money and adds more weight to the rig. It also has the option of clickless aperture so you can smoothly bring the background or foreground into focus. And my favorite feature is that it's par focal so you can zoom in without losing focus. With DSLR lenses, if you focus at the minimum zoom and then zoom in, it's probably going to be a little bit out of focus. <laughs> so far we've had the lens for a little over a month and it's our go-to lens for our 4K video. If you have a Sony full-frame camera and $2,000 just burning a hole in your rich little pocket, you should get this lens. It's great. Yeah, if you wanted a similar lens with similar cinema features, you'd probably be looking at spending like $20,000 and up. If you're a still shooter, you could consider something like the Sigma 24 to 105, our favorite normal range zoom at f4. It's been super sharp. So let's find out, let's run it through some tests and see how the image quality actually compares for still shooters. The first thing to notice is the focal length difference. We strongly prefer the widest setting of 24 millimeters over 28 millimeters, so that's a win for the Sigma. At 28 millimeters without profile corrections, we found severe barrel distortion from the Sony. That's not a problem for stills photographers. Lightroom can fix that for you automatically. For filmmakers, however, fixing that distortion will add time to both the editing and rendering processes. At f4, the corners on the Sigma were darker, indicating a more serious vignetting problem. Again, Lightroom can fix that automatically for stills photographers. For filmmakers, the vignetting would be much easier to fix than the distortion. At 28 millimeters in f4, the Sigma is much sharper than the Sony, despite being smaller and less than half as expensive. You might not notice for video, but for stills, there's no way I could bring myself to choose the Sony over the Sigma. Why can't Sony make sharp zooms? The Sony's 135 millimeter should have been an advantage to those shooting more far away subjects. However, when we cropped the Sigma to an equal angle of view and scaled the image up to the same resolution, the Sigma was still sharper at f4. Yes, 105 millimeters on the $900 Sigma has more detail than 135 millimeters on the $2,500 Sony. The difference is less noticeable at f8, but the cropped Sigma is still a bit sharper. Vignetting was similar at the same focal length, and it's easy to correct in post anyway. T-stops measure the actual light hitting the sensor. It's what really determines your exposure rather than f-stops. The Sony is about one-fifth of a stop brighter than the Sigma. Not a huge difference. See that green fringe? That's chromatic aberration on the Sigma. It's really not bad, but the Sony lens displayed almost none. It's easy enough to clean or fix for still photos, but it's harder to fix for video, so it's good that the Sony is clean. In summary, this lens is amazing. If you're a filmmaker, it really can't be beat. If you're a stills photographer, the bigger size, the non-reversible lens hood, the higher cost, uh, means you'll probably be happier with something like the Sigma 24 to 105 f4. We found it had better image quality also. You like that? I, there's a whole lot more where that came from. You could subscribe, you could buy our books, you could you could just watch the suggested video in the description. 
set. How much of an awkward pause can we put at the end of a video? <laughs> Check it, just tell your friends. We have books and stuff. That's my dog barking. Bye. Is she just now discovering us or is there something she needs She's to communicate? She's not smart. She's not smart. Look at her face. Is that it? Uh, don't cousin Larry her. There could be something seriously important going on. <laughs> cousin Larry. Ben Summary. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Remember when you asked me if I wanted tea and I said karate?